Bath was over. It was time for us to move on. Next stop on our map was the Project Mala School Mujera. The Mujera School is roughly 19 kilometers away from the Guria School. And with heavy traffic, it takes nearly an hour and a half to reach. The Mujera School was established in the year 1997 and has roughly more than 150 children studying. This school is up to grade 5. After a brief stop at Mujera, we were back on the roads. This time, the next stop was the Turkaha School. Anil had told me that the journey to this school is nothing less than an adventure. And he was correct. The school was situated in a very remote area. It did not have proper approach roads. It is indeed surprising as the roads to a school that is nothing less than a 4 into 4 experience. How do children actually manage to study in the school and how does the school manage to get its supply there? As we got close to the top of the hill, the view was even more surprising. Suddenly, the roads just vanished. It was nothing less than a nocturnal navigation. At Turkaha, Project Mala is currently working to build a new school. But I wonder how do they manage to get their materials across? Uh, I mean, uh, no truck ever get ready to, I mean, uh, come to this place. So you, we use small tractors to transport all our building materials. And because of that only, uh, we are getting delayed because, I mean, it's so tough, you know, you can transport only 70 odd feet of materials each time. After a ride which was nothing less than a roller coaster experience, we finally reached at the new Turkaha building site. I am walking through the corridor of our new school that we are building in Turkaha. It is under construction and we are expecting to open it in mid of uh, 2010. We, we do have a school in Turkaha but it's a small one which holds only 50 children. And this school we are constructing will hold initially 150 children and will increase the strength to 300 in next three years. We are plan planning to go from grade 1 to grade 8 in this school. But we are facing a lot of pr problem in constructing this school is we don't have any roads to this school and we are facing a really tough problem in transporting the material to the school. At the old Turkaha school, studies a young girl called Roshni. She has been studying here for quite some time now and has really shown considerable amount of progress in her academics. Among her favorite subject, mathematics is the number one and she enjoys solving complex mathematics sum. According to Project Mala, this school has been giving excellent result but Roshni's mother is still concerned about her daughter's future. We desperately need school in our village. We anyway live in a place where there are no proper roads and any such modern day facilities. Our living condition is very poor. In such a situation, it becomes very difficult to send our children to school as they help us in everyday work to sustain our lives. But I want my daughter to study. Thanks to Project Mala, Roshni has shown quite an incredible performance in studies. No one in our family is educated. If she studies and becomes something, then it would change our lives for better. After spending my time with the Turkaha children and the school, it was now time for me to move on to Hasra. The Hasra school was established in 1993 and has roughly 150 students studying from class 1 to class 5. I have been teaching here since 1996. I love my job and I find the school atmosphere quite relaxed for providing education. What makes teaching more simpler is that we are able to connect with the children. The students are mostly from the surrounding areas, so it becomes easy for us to communicate with them. Apart from education, we also look into their extracurricular activities like sports and physical training to keep them fit and healthy. Today, there is an inter-school kabaddi competition between these three schools of Project Mala. 
the children are really preparing hard for the match as each team gears up for this final performance. For this match, we travelled to the Patera school to get a view of it. It was indeed an amazing experience. The three participating schools for the match were Hasra, Patera and Amoy. Kabaddi is a popular sport in India. In this match, the winning team must be able to stop the opponent team's player to go back to his court. All the players were energetic and the audience was even more. I really enjoyed the sport and more importantly, the way the children played. After enjoying the thrilling experience, the last school on my list was the Amoy School of Project Mala. By the time we reached the school, it was time for the school to get over and the children were getting ready for the dispersal assembly. It was now time for me to head back home. I had discovered what I was searching for. It now seems that the mission of Project Mala is nearing. The voices of his students are already echoing and are demanding for a better future. It now appears that with such dedicated organization, it will not be long when the children will be able to turn their dreams into reality. Tell me now Why the sun shines so bright Why the sky looks blue in the morning And why does it look black in the night Tell me now Is the earth round or flat? Would I fall over if I went over the edge? Or will it hold me back to the ground? So take me now Stay 